Hi everyone, Shai here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both fascinating and a little bit scary. We all love food, but did you know that some of the most popular foods around the world could be harmful to our health? So, stick around as we explore the top harmful foods people keep eating around the world and learn how to make healthier choices. From hidden sugars to dangerous additives, we're uncovering the truth behind some of our favorite snacks and meals. Here are some of the most harmful foods people keep eating. Number 1. Sausages and Hot Dogs You already know that Spam, one type of processed meat, can be quite bad for you, so it makes sense that other processed meats like hot dogs and sausages are also not the most nutritious addition to your diet. I'm all about consuming everything in moderation, so you don't have to say no to a hot dog at a sports game or your local fair. It seems that most people don't say no either, since between Memorial Day and Labor Day, Americans eat 818 hot dogs per second. Wow, that's a great stat, but let's take a moment to learn why you should probably stop at one and consume them infrequently. Hot dogs may put you at an increased risk of certain cancers. A review of studies from 10 countries found that there is an increased risk of colorectal cancer when you eat processed meats. The fat and salt aren't great for heart health, and you might also be at an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Then there are those questionable ingredients. Some of the less desirable parts of animals are ground up to make sausage meat and hot dogs with flavoring coming from salt and fat. Number 2. Pizza I'm not about to say that all pizzas are harmful foods that people keep eating. If that's what it says in this script, I quit. Hold on. Okay, no, that's not what it says. I'm still here. But it is true that some are definitely less nutritious than others. As a general rule, you can expect a lot of carbs, fat, and salt in your average pizza, and even more so in those you purchase from your local pizza joint. Frozen pizzas are popular with busy families, they're fast and easy to cook, don't cost a lot, and can feed an entire family or one man. But they aren't exactly the most nutritious dinner option. They can often contain a lot of calories, fat, carbs, sugar, and sodium, especially if that one man is crying onto his slice, that's just free sodium. The more toppings you get, like processed meats and extra cheese, the more calories you can expect to consume. Pizzas you buy freshly made from pizzerias, cafes, and restaurants often tend to be a bit healthier. The bases are generally made from scratch from simple ingredients, and toppings tend to be less processed. Probably the worst pizza for your health you can buy are those available from fast food chain outlets. Ingredients tend to be less freshly made, and you may also find that some have high fructose corn syrup, artificial colorings, and sometimes even MSG. If you're craving pizza, consider making your own from scratch so you know exactly what's going into it. Number 3. Fruit Juice When you tell a child that they've had enough fruit juice because it's bad for their teeth, you're likely just thinking about how much sugar it has and how that can lead to dental decay. This is, of course, quite a concern, but fruit juice should be something you only have in moderation for other reasons as well. Most fruit juices can contain up to about 30 grams of sugar, equating to about 8 teaspoons. This amount of sugar is definitely bad for your oral health, but it's not doing the rest of your health any favors either. Experts believe too much sugar, which includes sugar and fruit juice, may put you at an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, some cancers, and stroke. It doesn't really matter which type of juice you drink, apple, orange, or a blend of all different fruits. It can all contain sugar, and there can sometimes be as much sugar in juice as there is in cola. Given that juice producers often remove all the good parts of the fruit like the skin and pulp, you're also missing out on fiber and other nutrients. You're genuinely better off just eating an apple rather than drinking apple juice. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products products from my store or by simply joining my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 4. Nutella I guess no one really thought eating chocolate on toast for breakfast was actually all that good for you or that it was the best option in your sandwich at lunchtime. But just how bad for you are chocolate spreads like Nutella? I mean, they're not great. Take a look at what you'll find printed on the sides of many chocolate spread jars. There will be ingredients like sugar, hazelnuts, milk, palm oil, cocoa, vanillin, and soy lecithin. Soy lecithin is a genetically modified type of soy that we can actually have a lot of trouble digesting as it's highly processed. It's not always great for your hormone levels and is even best avoided by infants, pregnant women, 
and breast cancer survivors. It's not the worst ingredient out there and is pretty common, but it's also not the best. Palm oil is definitely not ideal either, as it contains saturated fats while also threatening vulnerable animals like orangutans due to massive deforestation. Depending on the brand, you can expect two tablespoons of chocolate spread to contain as much as 200 calories, along with up to 21 grams of sugar and about 11 grams of fat. Sure, an occasional spoonful of chocolate spread from time to time is a nice treat, but it's probably not the best thing to be eating every day. Number 5. Deep Fried Snacks You won't find too many people telling you that deep fried snacks are good for you because we all know they're not. But are you aware of just how they're bad for you? There are some pretty terrifying facts about fried foods that you may not know. For example, one study revealed that those who eat fried potatoes more than twice a week are more likely to die earlier than those who eat less than that. Preventing and treating osteoarthritis may also depend on how much unfried and fried potatoes you eat. Eating potatoes may even raise the odds of having medical conditions like heart disease, which may not surprise you when you know that fried potatoes contain unhealthy oils that often include trans fats and salt. But potatoes aren't the only villain. Plenty of studies have connected fried foods in general to health issues like heart disease and type 2 diabetes. You may also be at an increased risk of problems like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and obesity. The occasional deep-fried treat is fine, but probably don't eat it frequently throughout the week. If you're craving something greasy, consider making it yourself and using healthier fats like olive oil. Number 6. Cookies and Cakes Cookies and cakes have been around forever, with the earliest cookie-style cakes dating back to 7th century Persia, which is now Iran. Every time you go to the grocery store, you probably include at least one packet of cookies in your shopping cart. But did you know that some cookies and cakes may damage your memory? You're not going to forget your own name after one slice of chocolate cake. But long-term consumption has revealed some surprising things in studies. Trans fats that feature in many processed foods are there to improve their flavor, shelf life, and often texture. In a study of a thousand men under the age of 45, those who ate the most trans fats scored worse in word memory tests. Even after factoring in depression, age, and education, there was still a link showing that you had a worse memory if you ate more trans fats. This is really quite concerning. This is also on top of the other risks associated with eating lots of trans fats, like heart disease and obesity. So go ahead and buy that packet of cookies or slice of chocolate cake. But know that you may not be the master of memory games if you make a habit of it. Fruits and vegetables are, of course, the most important additions to your diet. There's no reason why you can't eat potato chips, donuts, and other sweet treats, but remember to consume them in moderation. Otherwise, you might end up with severe health conditions that shorten or impact your life. What is your favorite treat that you also know is bad for you? Can you think of any healthy alternatives? So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this timestamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.